this is us coming together in her memory, but it's not closure for us. The Independence mother whose body was found in the woods on Halloween is finally laid to rest today. 44 year old Ebony Duncan disappeared last September after she left her job at an independent senior care facility. It took nearly two months for police to find her body. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Barry. I'm Lauren Halifax, the prime suspect in the case, her ex boyfriend. Fox Force Shanna Russo live outside the Jackson County Courthouse tonight. She spoke with Duncan's cousin and with police about where this investigation stands. Shannon. And right now this case has yet to make its way to the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office. I spoke with Independence Police today who tell me that the lead detective on Ebony Duncan's case is currently writing a probable cause statement which should make its way to the DA's office as early as next week. Meanwhile, Ebony Duncan's friends and family finally held a funeral for her today, nearly three months after her body was found. Final goodbyes are difficult. My baby smile is in me forever. And she will be missed. Even more so when you don't know how or why that person died. This is a tragic loss for us. Ebony Duncan's loved ones united in grief. After the 44 year old's body was found in a wooded area near East 83rd and Hillcrest in Kansas City on October 31st. Her funeral happening today after the medical examiner's office spent weeks determining how she died. Independence police tell Fox 4 the only suspect in the case is Duncan's ex-boyfriend, Charles Smith Howell. He has not been charged. We could not bury her the way in which we wanted to bury her because the person that took her away from us did something so tragic to our family. We are scorned behind this. Duncan is being remembered as an energetic Christian woman who loves singing and her family, especially her three adult daughters and five grandkids. She used to love me how she used to love my baby cousins. Court documents say Duncan disappeared on September 6th while leaving work in a silver four door sedan. Those documents go on to say Duncan had recently confided in a co worker that her ex was threatening to kill her. Investigators later learned that silver sedan belonged to Charles Smith Howell's current girlfriend, Kara Ramsberg. Fox 4 last reported that Independence Police were looking for her to question her. Today, we learned that Ramsberg spoke with police out of state, telling them she feared for her safety. Police say at this point, they do not think she was involved in Duncan's disappearance. Meanwhile, with charges expected to be presented to the Jackson County prosecutor next week, Duncan's cousin doesn't know if it'll bring justice. I don't see it, but um, it'll give us some comfort knowing that the person that took her away from us or persons involved in taking her away from us are, you know, going to be dealt with, you know, and hopefully to the highest extent. So where is Charles Smith Howell? Tonight he is in federal custody with the U.S. Marshal's Office for Ammunition Charges. His jury trial date for that, Lauren, is set for March 18th. Shannon Russo at the Jackson County Courthouse in Kansas City tonight. Thank you.